What's going on guys? It is confirmed. DJI Osmo Pocket will be shipping out soon. So let's skip the intro and talk about DJI's new mini stabilizer. Let's get right to it. The DJI Osmo Pocket will be announced at tomorrow's event in New York City, which is called Because Life is Big event or something like that. Now, obviously this seems like a paradox because why would they call it Because Life is Big event and we come out with a about four inch mini stabilizer? Well, a lot of people have speculated that it might come with a one inch sensor. However, looking at these photos that have been leaked online along with this video, we can now see that it doesn't look the same as the Mavic 2 Pro, which has that one inch Hasselblad sensor. It has the same shape as the Hasselblad, but if I had to predict, I would think it's similar to the Mavic 2 Zoom, which is gonna be a one slash 2.3 inch sensor, which is the same camera sensor size as the GoPro. That may come across as a slight disappointment. However, we also have to look at the bit rate or the way that the video is transferred. So if it has the same 100 megabytes per second bit rate that the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom have, as well as the Mavic Air, you're gonna see some really, really great video quality on a small stabilizer. Even better quality than the GoPro. So in that aspect, I wouldn't be too concerned with the sensor size. Obviously, we wanna see that one inch sensor. However, if it's the one slash 2.3 inch sensor, I think the quality of video we're gonna see is gonna be better than the GoPro. Okay, so we don't know all the camera specs, but let's talk about what we do know. It will have a 875 milliamp hour battery, which is 7.7 .7 volts. So DJI Osmo series used the DJI Go app, but for this, DJI came out with a new app, which is called DJI Mimo, Mimo, I'm not sure exactly the pronunciation, but it is spelled like this. And you can download this app for free in Google Play or in the Apple Store. So what we know so far, you are gonna be able to add accessories to this. What accessories exactly, I don't know, but it could be the same as the other Osmos, such as the extension rod, the vehicle mount, the chest strap. But the way I see this mini stabilizer being used for is mainly for vlogging. Okay, just holding it out, being able to travel, run and gun and shoot very easily and hold it up and your arm's not gonna get tired is something that people are really gonna love, especially when it's stabilized video. Now, what kind of stabilizer exactly is it gonna be? Apparently, it's gonna be an electronic stabilizer with a two axis gimbal. And this is gonna give us good stabilized footage, maybe not quite as good as the GoPro, However, from various sources online, I've seen that the price tag could be $249. Other people say it's $399, the same as the GoPro. It's gonna be in that range. I say it could start maybe at $249. And what DJI often does is they start their price at $249. They see if a lot of people are buying it. If a lot of people buy it within the first two weeks, then they're gonna raise that price to something like $299 or maybe like 349. So if you wanna get this stabilizer, it's a good idea to buy it within the first two weeks because it has the potential for the price to go up. And not to go on too much of a side tangent, but there has been a trade rift going on between China and the United States. So it could increase the price for this, at least in the long term. But in the short term, I see it being anywhere from 249 to 299 because that would make it really competitive against the GoPro. Now, obviously the GoPro has a housing unit so it can be used underwater or get wet, whereas the Osmo Pocket isn't gonna be able to get wet, okay? Maybe it can get a little water on it or you can film when it's foggy out, but you're not gonna wanna get it wet, which is a downside, but a lot of people don't need a stabilizer for wet weather conditions. If you do, you might wanna get a GoPro. This is just a different option. Now the Osmo Pocket is compatible with all the new iPhones, but it doesn't mention the XR or the XS. So why didn't it do that? In my mind, it's been out for a while, so they've been working on designing this mini stabilizer. And with that said, I'm very confident that you're gonna be able to get your hands on this mini stabilizer way before Christmas time. All right, so if you're interested in DJI Osmo Pocket, I will put a link down below, which I'll update after tomorrow's Because Life is Big event. Don't forget to come back to my channel tomorrow night because I will be giving you a lowdown on this event 
of all the specs, all the happenings, give you my opinion, what I recommend for you, what I like, what I don't like. So if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell notification so you get more videos like this of all the latest and greatest DJI and drone news as well as photography gear. And if you haven't done so, please press that like button, add a comment, love to hear what you think about this new mini stabilizer from DJI. And remember guys, siempre pa'lante, nunca pa' atrás.